Hey guys, this is Adrian in from Modio, and we are continuing our exciting series on the basics of Adobe After Effects. Today we're jumping into animation, so without any further ado, let's make some things move. As always, we're going to start out with a new composition. Presets are okay. So, animation in After Effects comes from what we call keyframes, and that's creating two different points for an object to travel between. And obviously, to animate something, you need something to animate. So, let's just start out with some text here. Not just any text, but preferably fun text. And gray isn't very fun. I'm going to go ahead and change that to a bright yellow. And just a quick side note on some text that I didn't cover in the design episode is... If you want to change the spacing between characters individually, if you know if you're that kind of person who's nitpicky about his text, if you hold option on a Mac and use your arrow keys, you can actually increase or decrease the spacing between specific letters to get it just right. So back to animation. So go ahead and twirl down the properties here to your text. So keyframes can be created on any property that has a stopwatch next to it here. Now go ahead and click the stopwatch of the position. And you'll see we have this new diamond shape, and that is the keyframe. Now, to create an animation, you're going to need at least two keyframes. Because what you're going to do is tell a property to move from one value to another. So I'm going to move forward in time here, let's just say one second. And we'll slide the position value to the right. Now if you scrub through, you'll see that it's moving from left to right. Pretty simple, but hey, it's an animation, so go ahead and go to the beginning and press the space bar, and you'll see a quick playthrough. Now when you're animating like this, obviously you're going to want to preview what it looks like, and you can create a work area. B is the shortcut for the in, and N is the shortcut for the out. And this way you can create an area that you're focused on and that you can preview really quickly. Now the RAM preview shortcut is zero on your number pad. But there's also a little preview box up here. And this arrow with the lines behind it is the RAM preview button as well. So we don't have to stop the fun there. We can go ahead and add even more to this animation, such as the rotation here. Just click and move forward in time one second. And you can add a complete rotation. And now you'll see that it's going to really get fun pretty intense. Now here's another fun part of After Effects is that it can actually calculate motion blur for you. Now we don't actually see the layer switches that we need and if that's the case for you as well you can toggle them manually here or use F4 as a shortcut to switch between. So what we're looking for is this little ball with the streaks behind it and this is our motion blur checkbox. So if you go ahead and check your layer with this motion blur, nothing's going to happen right now, but that's because our composition does not have motion blur enabled. So go ahead and check this big ball with the streaks behind it. And now you'll see that the animation is going to render with some motion blur automatically included to it. So animation can also be applied to any effect, really, anything with a stopwatch. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a simple effect. Um, how about just a simple color change? Generate and fill. And fill just replaces whatever your layer is with a solid color. So now we have control over our color in an animatable fashion. So if you click the stopwatch here. And a quick shortcut for accessing any attributes that have keyframes attached on your layer is U. Make sure your layer is selected, press U and it'll pull up any values that have keyframes associated with them. It's an easy way to keep your work area organized. So now that we have a keyframe set for the green value, I'm going to go ahead to the end here and let's make it, I don't know, blue. And what's cool about this color effect is it shows you what transition it's going to go through during the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and preview this. 
You see it's changing color like magic, like chameleon text. And of course, if you don't want your motion blur anymore, you can go ahead and uncheck this box. It'll always render faster if your computer's having a hard time. If you don't want it to be included in the final output of the movie, you're gonna need to uncheck this as well. Well guys, that is the quick down and dirty basics of animation. There's a lot more to cover, so be sure to join us in future episodes as we'll cover some more advanced techniques. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.